Hello and welcome to the first episode of Kerbal Space Exploration. In this series we will follow the Kerbals as they start their own space program. In the prologue episode we saw that the Kerbals got their first rocket into space. Now, six months later after a lot of hard work and many many failed attempts. Jebediah Kerman is on his way to be the first Kerbal into space. So Jebediah's rocket has um, a board tower on top that will take him away from the rocket in case of an emergency. A small stage that will not take him into orbit because the Kerbals want to be sure that Jebediah does not get lost in space. So this first mission will only be a short trip into space where Jebediah is going to check out the rocket, do some safety checks and then he's going to do an EVA to see if it's possible for a Kerbal to survive in space. And we're now reaching 15,000 meters and turning over for the gravitational turn. And this is going to be an equatorial, equatorial orbit, which means we are heading over for the 90 degrees marker. When the first stage is burned out, we will go over to the small engines after we get rid of the escape tower, as we just saw. So the escape tower is not needed anymore, we are past the danger zone. At this point, we have plenty of altitude to deploy the parachutes. Now the Kerbals have been working hard, very hard, to get to this point and they have plenty of missions planned if this succeeds. First off, they are going to send a satellite in orbit around Kerbin for communication purposes and then they are going <coughs> to start exploring the possibilities of going to the moon. Probably doing a slingshot around the moon and back first and then maybe they will do a landing if everything works out fine. For f future references, the Kerbals have planned to do some space stations and probably start doing deep space missions if it's possible. So Jebediah is now testing out the maneuverabil maneuverability of his spacecraft, seeing that everything is fine. And it looks like all systems are a go and that he might soon do an EVA if everything looks to be fine. And he has plenty of fuel to do some course changes and do making his orbit a little longer, which he probably will do. And we just got word from Jebediah, he is cleared to do a longer stay in space he will not do an orbit but they will do a burn at apps to get him a little further so jebediah testing out the lights seeing that there's no damage to his rocket jebediah is a um, careful and brave pilot <coughs> and he wants to be sure he can come back home to his wife and kids and everything looks fine and his rocket pack is working just wonderfully. After he has done a small check, Jabadai is now going back to do his check of his rocket pack. And he can turn round in circles, going up and down and side to side seems to work just fine. So Jabadai going back to his space capsule, he does not wanna get too far away. Remember this is the first time a Kerbal ever has been weightless in space so this is a big moment for Jebediah. And we are now going into the space capsule and <coughs> doing some more turns and preparing for a small burn at Apwaps.
and Jebediah is engaging the engines seeing how far he can or he will be allowed to go for this mission he is not allowed to do an orbit but he will try to go for a safe distance where he can land safely back in the water and be sure to go back in orbit so for now the mission is almost done Jebediah turning retrograde to engage or disengage from the rocket and fuel tanks and he is engaging the the parachutes and pre preparing for landing hopefully he will hit the ocean so I'm just going to speed this up by three times speed acceleration because the landing is just a normal landing with Jebediah and this has been a short mission or episode but as the missions become longer and longer it will probably have to span over one episode but I hope you look forward to the next episodes as much as I do I hope you enjoyed this please like and subscribe and I'll see you later guys wearing storm signing off